Okay, welcome to this. One of my most exciting favorite webinars to do this particular topic. I always like doing this one because um, this is the unfair advantage one. What I love about this one is I can actually show you in real life how I do this and how we actually do it to make actual real money doing real shit. So who's excited with the idea of being able to do that, to be able to make some money, increase your wealth and have a little bit of an unfair advantage over everyone else? Come on, we all like that, don't we? Like some fast track hacks to make life easier. Absolutely, yeah. I, I am totally, I, one of my favorite stories I tell people is that I remember working at a, a, the secret to get very good marks in school for doing very little. And just by working at the system and how it worked, I spent years, years thinking there has to be fast track hacks to do all this. And when I discovered them, it was very exciting. So, okay. So who here does anything to do with cryptos, trading, sports, betting, um, business, or just wants to find ways to make income sources and just generate some cash just from time to time and just have some insights. Excellent. So I'm going to get started now. So William and I are going to run this together and I'm going to, I'm going to, it was kind of done on the cuff. So it's going to be a little bit, um, it's, it's got some pretty good stuff in it. I'm going to be running it today along with William. So let's go in to quickly come on the camera and say hi. I mean, he'll jump off, um, turn his camera off while until he comes on and runs the energy part. So William, just come on and say a quick hi so everyone can meet you. Hi, it's coming on now. You're, you're muted, mate. I could see you, but then you disappeared again. That's it. Okay, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Maybe just introduce yourself quickly, Will, for those who are new. Yeah, um, hi, everyone. So um, I'm William, and uh, I'm the I'm the healer of um, Awakening Within. And uh, so basically what I cover is the energy reading and the clearing side of things for TAW and for Warren. Um, basically, so um, he's um, going to be doing the side viewing side of things and i'll be focusing more on the energy reading spiritual side of things yes this is something that this is one of my favorite cooler webinars i like to do because this i feel i'll actually you'll actually see in real real life how this actually gets used to pretty damn cool effect like um yeah it's and it's one of my like i said it changed my life learning this particular skill and I'll be sharing a little bit more about it and how you could do it. Um, okay, so let's get started anyway and get on the way. So obviously it's not any financial advice or stuff like that. It's fairly obvious, but let's just get that going. Um, yep, you may need a black piece. Depending if we've got time, I may even get you to do a demonstration in real time, depending on how we go with time. So let me just quickly walk through what we're going to be covering today. And my plan with this, it's kind of evolved, is I'm going to be teaching the basics today, get you get you a little bit excited, whet your appetite. And then after that, for those who are really keen, I'm not going to be selling you any programs today. I'll be up front with you. Usually we do. Today I won't be. Um, this is going to be purely free trading because I just felt like doing it. And we'll be inviting you to come to another free class to, to learn this. And in that other free class we'll be doing, there'll be a longer class, we'll be offering a, a mentoring ongoing program for people who really want to do this at the next level, okay? So you're going to be getting a crap load of free, really good content. Who likes that idea? And it's what I call the Elon Musk and Facebook principle, where, as I said to someone, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, how much does it cost most people to use it? The answer is nothing. So the idea today is give you insanely good content that if you want to go away and get kickstarted, great. If those of you who think, hey, you know what you're doing, I want to learn from you. Yeah, you're going to be happy to pay some good money and master this topic and become really damn good at it. So how to apply energy in real time 
so you can walk away and begin to apply it. So uh, you'll be able to walk away today, even at a very basic level and start to use this with health. I today did this with William when he had a tooth pain. On We, we did energy reading to help him with that. Um, I, do, I did this this morning on three games. Um, yesterday I did it on five games, got all of them correct. Now, that's unusual. I don't normally get eight out of eight, but I happen to get eight out of eight. So um, so it's not what I call a perfect psychic gift, but it significantly increases your accuracy in learning how to do this. So um, an introduction to technology remote viewing, how it originated, how it's supported by science, to actually help you make real serious profits. So those of you who are committed to master this, and gain an unfair advantage over everyone else. And I make no qualms in saying that. I spent my whole life, um, the reality is to be successful, you wanna have an unfair advantage. I'm the kind of guy that pushes in the queues. I I did this as a kid. If I don't like waiting in queues, I pushed in the queues at traffic. I once went to the airport, there was a long queue to get in there, I just pushed in. Because my kids said, what are we doing? We might miss our flights. I said, others might, but we won't. I just pushed in. I said, the chances are no one will be game enough to speak out. So, <laughs> If you like that and think that's funny and you're in and you're into that, you'll enjoy what we're learning today. Who thinks who likes that? Who who does a, who's got a little bit of a trait like that themselves? Uh, I I've always I've always had that rule. I don't see any point in, in, in waiting in queues. And it's been a great thing for me. I remember during COVID when I was told, you know, how are you gonna travel? People can't travel. I said, others won't be able to. I'll be able to travel and I won't get vaccinated. And I was able to do everything as normal. So a lot of it's your belief system. So the reality is there's elite groups who use this constantly. And I'll show you the evidence of that. So you'll see this isn't just a little pitch. And like I said, we're not selling anything at the end of this of today. And we're going to be offering another free training in nine days from now, um, which on the Saturday, where you'll be able to come and learn this. And deliberately doing that, so you're going to get some damn good value and share it with your friends. And then those of you who want a bit more training, we do have option for more training to really help you make this work in your life. We're going to be talking about what can sabotage you and how you can minimize your losses. Because, yeah, look, it takes a while to learn this. You've got to deal with emotions. You've got to deal with, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm just giving you the secret to life and it's easy. You do get people occasionally who just naturally are good at this and get it quickly. Generally, my experience is it takes time because you've got to deal with emotions, with greed, with fear. And as Gerald O'Donnell, one of the world's great remote viewing energy reading, reading teachers says, it can take a heck of a long time to train the sabotage out of people. Um, so you'll be learning a bit about this as well. And this is all proven tested methodology, not just by the CIA, by government and by groups of these people all over the world but also by yours truly and various people who I've worked with, including my personal trainer who I took to Vegas, who still to this day makes a side income, remote viewing and betting on sports and, and cryptos and various other things. So um, my business partner from Wealthsafe, she used this to um, remote view cryptocurrencies and made enough money to buy a house. Um, so I kind of thought, gosh, I've been showing a few of my friends. Let's just kind of get out here and show this a little bit more. So I'm saying very factual things um, of what actually happens in real life. Um, as William will tell you, there was a time when he wasn't doing as much work with Awakening Within, and he just decided to do a little bit of part-time um, sports betting with my with, with the guy I told you I taught. And between the two of them, he made enough money to cover him until he got back into it. So literally, this is what this can do. If you're willing to put the work in, follow the system, and be disciplined. Now, if you're not disciplined and you're emotional and you're erratic and you don't follow rules, then you may as well get off the webinar now because what I'm about to teach you here is both exciting and fucking boring, okay? Who here is willing to be disciplined and be boring to put more money in your pocket so you can have more fun? Just kind of raise your hand online or just type a Y. Yeah, okay. I'm sure you can hear I'm pretty passionate about this. This is pretty damn cool. I like this stuff, this kind of... Like I said, I like anything that gives me an unfair advantage. I make no qualms about that. Um, I didn't like doing homework in school. I found a way around a system. To give an example of how shockingly powerful this is, there was a group of people who even used this to remote view life after death, all independently. So they didn't know what each other was getting, all got the same thing. And it's profound what they came up with. The 42-minute remote viewing summary, I said, they're going, holy mother of God, it literally made the whole world make sense. So this is the kind of thing that you can do with this. It was done to remote view the Titanic and what happened there 
And then it was found out years later that the remote view was accurate. In 2019, in June, I received an email from a, from a very small remote viewing community warning everyone who lived in America to get other major cities because there's going to be lockdowns, there's going to be a pandemic, because a group of remote viewers had, had saw lockdowns, pandemics in the army in 2020, and people in the remote viewing community all left the major cities and moved into bunkers. It's totally true. Who here is completely like, holy mother of God, blown away by that? Just raise your hand. And I saw this. I got these emails in my inbox. Okay? In my inbox. I remote viewed the vaccination, in two, and I saw about two years before it happened that it was going to come. So things like that. I saw the whole thing. I even told friends at the time and warned them it was going to happen. So this is what this can do. It can make your life a fucking lot easier. Okay. So I'll be discovering I'll be discussing at the end about that. Like I said, there's gonna be it's gonna be free the one we're doing in nine days' time. I specifically want to do that because, like I said, I don't really want to sit here and do thing and offer some, I don't know, some small course or whatever. I'd rather just give you the information. But generally a small group of you will go, we want to master this, we'll do a group, teach this stuff to people who are serious. Because it's great to get playmates to do this with, because many of the you know, people who I now do remote viewing with from time to time are people who've been either former students or friends. And then we just double check. Like I said, hey, remote view the crypto market for me. Tell me if you're getting the same reading as I do. And they go, yep, bang, let's go in. And things like that. So that's kind of, so I want people who are fun um, eventually to come out of this. So that's why I'd rather, for those of you who are not at that level, I'd rather just give this to you for free. So there will be, like I said, this kind of opportunity to do this. Um, so for those who are really keen, you don't want to miss out on that. So who's this for? It's various people. You're not making enough money, your business and investments, you want more accuracy, and you just want to get a bit of an unfair advantage to start making a heck of a bit more money. Um, another one is you're keen to derive a new source of income, and you're up for things like trading, crypto, sports, and want to get a competitive advantage. I used this recently with gold. I actually was shorting gold and making money. And I and I thought from the charge it was going to do it, and I did and I did a remote view and got a clear hit. It was going to go go up, and I thought that can't be right. So I redid it and I got the same reading, and in the end, and I got it again and got the same reading. This is about a month ago, and I thought, holy shit, I better be careful here. So although I shorted it, I did it very carefully, uh, and then sure enough, my remote view was accurate. I quickly went long, and I've been making side cash ever since, going long on gold. Um, you and so remote viewing. I used to help me get the direction of the market. Um, I was about to put a huge sum of money on Shiba Inu about a month ago. Um, I went in and I will, I mean, I'll show you this. Those of you who come to the class, I will show you the proof of this, just to be clear. I'll actually show you what I did. So you will I'm not just going to say this, but I, when I remote viewed Shiba Inu, it said it was going to go down. I thought, it's not going to go down. This is going to go skyrocketing, but I did it again. Got the same answer, so I stayed out, and it dropped by 50% over the next three weeks. I remote viewed um, one of the crypto ones called Pepe and got an absolute massive hit. It was going to go up. We quickly jumped in, and I think we doubled our money in about three days. You know, This is the kind of stuff that we basically have been using it for. I've used it for gold. I've used it for NVIDIA um, to, buy and, to, go, to buy CFDs on NVIDIA. On sports games today, I made some money on the Dallas Stars. Um, to my great annoyance, I missed the Phoenix Suns. I got a clear hit that the Suns were going to win a game and cover the spread, and I didn't get in in time, so I missed out on that one. But that was okay. I made a, a good cleanup yesterday. Um, I'll show you later on today how I remote viewed the Astros and the Blue Jays. I got I got two hits that the Blue Jays would win. The Astros are winning all games, so I went and put a bit of money in when I had some money at the start on two point forty odds. I went in and put extra in at 7.70, which, as you know, is a pretty good payoff. And then in the last innings, on the last hit of the game, um, Blue Jays hit a home run and won the game. So, I mean, those who are around me just kind of got a shock because I jumped out of my chair and yelled at the top of my voice, you know. And I do have moments it doesn't work out. And you'll see today I did have one remote view, which it was a mixed reading, and I, and I stayed out of the game. And that saved me from losing my money because the same thing would have happened in reverse for me. Kansas rules are winning all game, but my remote view suggested that it was going to be a weird game and that the Orioles could win. So I stayed out and the Orioles won. They came out and hit in the very last hit of the game. So it's a great little thing. Um, you desire to improve mastery of your mind and intuition to improve your results and see healings and wealth and high consciousness 
in your life and your loved ones. Um, you're doing well, but you just want to stop stagnating. So yeah, health is another great thing to use it for. My my chiropractor keeps telling me I'm a freak because I go in him and tell him what needs to get done because I remote view it and use energy reading to work out my health. I diagnose myself. I was having, I couldn't walk on Saturday. My foot was in agony. I had this corn that was puffed up. And when I remote viewed, I kept getting that it was a light infection, nothing major, but I had a corn flared up and I needed to rest it and I needed to take care of my feet more and do an apple cider vinegar or Epsom salt bath in it. So I did all that, followed the things. And the first thing the podiatrist said is, your light infection, you need to do bang, bang, bang. So it can help you with all that stuff. So who here resonates with all of those? Anyone here go, yeah, this one of those, who is this for applies to me? Just raise your hand or type a yes or put a smiley face or, you know, send a million dollars to my crypto account, whichever, whatever feels good for you. So okay these are the kind of things for example in the new world that we're seeing and it's kind of annoying and why remote viewing and energy reading can make a big difference but you can see this kind of shit and have a bit of an idea when it's coming um things like that digital ids and what to do about that kind of stuff i actually used remote viewing during COVID a few times like to check if they were going to bring in certain mandates into our state and i I got to know when everyone else was warning what happened, I kept getting a no on certain things. And I remember I groaned when I remote viewed mask mandates in WA and I got a clear yes and I thought, oh, fuck. So I started getting, I got my letter ready and of course they came in. So it was very, very useful. But when I remote viewed, you know, will the army come in and kind of pin people down? I got a clear no, but okay. Won't worry about that kind of stuff. So it really does give you sneak preview ideas. Um, to know this stuff. But this is what we're dealing with now in the world. Inflation, it's kind of making cost of living, causing people to worry. And people who previously were comfortable with off are starting to think of scarcity and get nervous about their financial situation. Soaring fuel prices and things like that. Food prices, like just stupid shit, you know? Interest rates going up. Um, gold is going ballistic, which tells you that pretty much everyone's getting nervous. Um, possible housing crash eventually. I don't think that will be for a while, but... You know, at some stage, when I've remote viewed that, I haven't got a yes on that at the moment. So I've kind of, but eventually, that kind of thing. Again, I've remote viewed markets crashing and I didn't get any particular warning at this stage. I just got, to, and so again, you can remote view that as well, but all this kind of stuff. So the new world can be a very challenging place to be in if you're trying to function normally. And the exciting news is, is we're moving into this new, highly spiritual highly new different world and the reality is the old world is never going to be coming back and the systems have failed that we've been conditioned to trust and rely upon the income systems and this is what i tell people you need to be thinking on a whole new level with your income and as i was trying to explain to somebody today i said people make money now and get set up for life by buying dot coins online cryptos that have got pictures of dogs with a hat like we bought one called dog with a hat and the dog with a hat and it's tripled since we bought it like more than tripled um we've got one now called a cat with a hat which is shot up um you know people buy there's this silly stuff that's coming out and people are just doing shit because they don't care anymore because people are very discouraged mental health's been a bit down and people are fed up with what's going on with the government so this is telling me but if you try and function in the old world thinking in your own way you will fail and you will suffer and I'm sure you all know that. And that's why there's a new way of sovereignty. And part of it is being able to access your intuition better. And the good news is you can learn to do this. If you think, well, Warren, I've never been that good at it. The answer is great. If you say, but what about psychics? That have an advantage. No, no. Psychics have been proven to generally do worse to this because their ego gets in the way. And they start thinking things are right. Like because they got some image of something that is right. Whereas people who are really new to this and whose intuitions average often do the best at this because they learn to follow the system. And eventually, as you master the system, your intuition will improve with it. Who's glad to hear that? That the more analytical and rule following you are, the better your intuition will get to do this. If, that, if that's you, then you're in the right place here today because that's what this will do. Who here is naturally really intuitive? like easily intuitive just kind of it's natural for you 
just raise your hand if, if it's easy for you. If you do, that's good. Just keep in mind that can be a hindrance with energy reading with finance because your emotions and your belief systems can kick in, okay? So that's one of the kind of strange things about this. So the more, the less intuitive you are in a way or the less naturally good at it you are, this can help you get really fucking good at it. So the systems are designed to control and keep people living in fear and especially financially. And what I love about this is it will help, it helps free you up because if you know you can just create and manifest money as you fucking need it, you, it, 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 which is literally what this can help you do as you get better at it, you go, oh my God, you know, I don't have to worry about shit anymore. And you start to be less worried about things. And then you go, what the heck? And then you start thinking, maybe I don't have to work with that shitty client who I don't want to work with anymore. Or maybe I can give my boss the finger and get rid of him. Or maybe I can stop doing that horrible thing I don't like. Who likes that idea, by the way? Who's got a few people or bosses or clients you want to give the finger to today? Just raise your hand if that's you. Yeah, or you can even use use as your partner. Absolutely, you know. So this is the exciting thing is it's a very self empowering learning because you can learn to create this for yourself. And if anything, the more you become reliant on external factors, I've noticed that when I start losing money with this, it's only when either I get very emotional or I start relying and and, and doubting myself and try and getting too much reliance on other remote viewers rather than ultimately trusting my own reading first and foremost. So this is the good news. You can rig the game in your favor in advance. I had a friend who has been banned from casinos because he's worked out how they make their money and how to beat them on most games. Um, even though you may not learn that today, you can learn indirectly to do that by being able to tune in and use energy. And as Einstein said, this is one of the greatest things you can harness and learn to connect with your higher selves and be just like the elite, like dear old Mr. Gates and his wonderful doctor fraternity and the various others. So that ultimately we can break out the system and take back what is rightfully ours. So that's kind of what the idea of learning this stuff is. So it's a form of sovereignty teaching, you know, in fact, I noticed my dear friend Trent's on here, who's a sovereignty coach who's joining forces with me together about with this for Global Wealth Club to become sovereignty mastery. So good to see you, Trent. So he's someone you're going to be all seeing a lot more of him as one of our speakers. So this is going to be your get out of jail free card, um, your way to be able to do this, so to speak. So energy reading and how this works. What do I mean by this? So I'll give a bit of an overview before I get William to come on and share a bit more practically about that. So everything is energy. I learned this from a great master called Raymond Grace, and I learned before that, but everything is energy. And I love what Jeffrey Allen, who's a teacher at Mind Valley, says. He says energy reading and transformation through, through intention is easier than doing physical work because it's just you just have to sit there and do it in your mind. Whereas physical work, you've got to get up off your ass and do shit. So he said, energy reading is the greatest thing you can do. And I'm, and, and it's going to be the future. He said, he teaches, in fact, that if you get good at this, you can create your own synchronicities. And people will be like, oh, my God, you're so lucky. You just keep getting synchronicities. I'm like, no, 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 no. You're creating them. I've noticed this. I've, this year, I've been incredibly lucky. Now, and I say that a bit facetiously. I haven't been lucky. I've been using synchronicities and energy to bring things in my favor. But lately, just things seem to work for me. Unexpectedly, I win games I shouldn't. Unexpectedly, I, I, I stay out of one. I've noticed that I just seem to get in at the right time with stuff. I just seem to get a sense as to even different relationships I've got in my life. So I've been getting more luck this year than I had previously. So you can learn to master the energy and harness your intuition. So there's various ways you can do that, like so many ways. Some people do have a natural instinct for this. And I mean, you always want to keep going with that. But like any skill, you can master it, as Jeffrey Allen in Mind Valley says, and you can get a lot better at it. And like I said, not everyone has it that strongly. And the exciting, amazing news is that you, you know, basically you who's listening to the webinar can actually be trained to learn this stuff and accurately read energy, not always 100%, but where you can read it pretty damn well. Who gets like pretty orgasmically buzzed by the thought of that? Just raise your hand. 
if you think that's orgasmically buzzing, who thinks that's even better than having having an orgasm? I, I don't know about you, but orgasm happens once off but, or, or different times, but this is a energetic orgasm which you can get when you do that. I, I was we were, I was laughing with my son today. I said I get more grieved when I get an energy read wrong on a sports bet than if a girl says no to a date. So I said that tells me a lot about where I'm at. Like when I lose a bet, which I thought I, I, I expected to win, I said that can cause me more when I miss out getting into a crypto at the right time. So... Um, <laughs> Aiden doesn't have his batteries in. Yeah, I have dark humor. I'm a generally a pretty horrible individual, but hopefully, but hopefully what I teach you today will help you. So let's look at a few tools that can help you to do this. So one, as I said, is just your own intuition. And just keep in mind though, that the reason we get it wrong a lot is just simply because we have so many different kind of preconceived ideas, filters, traumas i mean it's so as gerald o'donnell says in his remote viewing training who's one of the world's experts in the area he said we just have so much like inner sabotages and fears especially if you've grown up and you know i i know for me i grew up in the church that that doing this kind of stuff was fucking evil man like you don't misuse your spiritual gift to make money i'm like whatever and <laughs> probably got taught about by the catholic church with the richest group in the world but you, you get the point I believe that, like, I would never use my gift to do that. And of course, so, and that took me a fair while to get that programming transformed in me. Like I, it kept sabotaging me for years, not just weeks, for years. So hopefully you'll be a lot less than that if you got programming and you can learn from my mistakes. Another one that William will, will touch into shortly with an exercise or whatever way is your higher self or left hand or whatever. And there's various ways you can do this. Um, you can... Like, for example, I was taught by a mentor of my left hand. I don't really use my left hand myself. I tend to more just tune in and I ask it and I train myself into, into feeling a yes and no. And I practice this regularly. Like, for example, I will just go, yes. And you can all do this with me. Keep saying yes. And just notice what's happening in your body, like in your upper chest. I mean, William may do something else. Just, I keep getting a good feeling. It's feeling open. Yes. Then start saying no, no. And just notice the body sensations. I notice that I slightly cave in in my chest. It just gets a bit more locked in. No. So then I might ask, you know, am I on this webinar? Right, am I on a webinar right now? And I feel the yes. You know, am I basically out getting drunk at the pub? And it goes in. So you can kind of calibrate yourself and train yourself. And I'll get William to walk you through a bit better. Um. Pendulums is another way you can do it. I mean, I've tried using pendulums for energy reading for finances. has not worked as well for me. Um, I much prefer the different remote viewing kind of things I will show you shortly. I've tried this and it's not been very effective. I've, it's worked better in other things for me. Bob is I more use for, um, that's an ancient tool where you can tune in to get water. You can use it to basically, I use it to clear energy. I just use it to, Give me a practical tool that I can stare at with a yes or no, where it will be shaking um, in front of me. There's um, tarots. These, again, I've even tried using these for financial stuff. I haven't worked as well for me. I They've more worked better. The I Ching's been by far the best one, but that's more worked best for me, i found from my experience, the I Ching, at basically... For example, checking on a path for myself. But you know, I won't get too caught up in that one today. This will otherwise confuse everyone a bit. Um, there's various ways, but the structured remote viewing or energy reading protocol, nothing beats that. You know, what my friend and I, who sometimes do stuff together, we make a good team because he still occasionally does remote viewing. He now uses his left hand to do it. He finds he gets just as much accuracy with his left hand as he does doing a remote view um, system. I still find in this day I get a better result with a remote view system and reading with my hand. So or doing anything else. So you'll find as you learn as you learn this skill which works best for you. So now let's just have a bit of a practical thing to see how this can be applied to finances. And the thing to realize, of course, is that um is this a magic science? This is an important question. And what you will learn as you do this training with us is that science has shown 
But in some situations, not always, probable futures can change. So Gerald O'Donnell explains that the world is a series of probable futures or timelines. And if you've ever seen the movie, The Adjustment Bureau, you'll know what I mean by probable futures. It's a good movie to watch to learn about how futures can change. My experience is that there's some futures that are certain futures, some that are highly probable, some are just probable. <clears throat> and look, one thing I will say about my experience, I find that people who are getting bad results with remote viewing often say, oh, the probable future change. My experience is that Remote views, when you do one on a sporting game or crypto, generally about nine out of 10 times, the probable, whatever you get, the probable future doesn't actually really change. It's probably about one in 10 where I've seen that happen, you know, or even less than that. So I just generally, you know, the only time I accept that a probable future has changed is if I look at my view and I can't fault it. Like if I look at my things, I think, no, I can't fault it. You know, I'm happy with the call I made. It just went against me that's when I know the probable future change. More often than not, when I review my, my readings, I realize that I kind of got emotional or I rushed it or I kind of had a preconceived idea. And the biggest killer is to have a preconceived idea. So you may, for example, go into the gold market and have a, pre, have a preconceived, have a bit of an idea that it might go down, but you want to be open-minded. And I remember once, and recently I lost on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a remote view on a, on a share, because I was absolutely adamant in my mind it was going to go up. So the remote view was to confirm it. And even though I had a hesitation that my remote view suggested it actually wouldn't go up, but it might go down, I talked myself into it. And sure enough, I lost on it. And it was a lost trade. And if I listened to my remote view, I wouldn't have gone in or I would have gone short. Whereas like I said, by contrast with gold, I listened to it. I reevaluated my opinion from where I was convinced it was going to go down to thinking for some reason it's going to go up. Whereas all the data was saying gold would probably go down because there was more confidence building in the economy. <clears throat> since then, the, the since my remote view, they came out and announced interest rates will probably not go down in the near future and gold's been shooting up. So this is where our mind can get in the way. So now I'm gonna hand over to William and let him take the mic and I'll and, and I'll and, and basically and walk you through this reading. So he's gonna come on camera and walk you through this now. So William, over to you. And I'll control the slides, mate. It's okay. Just tell me to change the slide when you need me to. I can hardly hear you, mate. I can hear you before. Really it's just I'm not able to hear you. No, can't hear you. Has everyone else got the same problem? Just type a Y. Or just me. Yeah, everyone else can't hear you, mate. Hello? Yes, I hear you now, loud and clear. Oh, okay, that's really weird. Yeah. So I just need to make sure everyone can hear me before we start. Just loud type Y. Just type Y in the chat if you all can hear me now. Okay, loud yeah. And, yeah. Excellent. All right, so um, what we'll get into is that um, an energy reading exercise, everyone. So um, Warren, just proceed to the next slide. So um, so what I want you guys to do is just hold out your left hand with your palm facing down, and fingers pointing away from you, not touching anything. So um, what I want you to do now is to take five deep breaths. So and in through your nose for a count of four. Hold it for a count of four. Then exhale out through the mouth for a count of eight. Just repeating that process for five deep breaths. Relaxing the mind and the body. And now I'll just say out loud or in your head, connecting to my higher self.
So you should feel a slight tingling sensation at the end of your fingertips. Okay, so now just ask this question. Are the leaves on the tree in this picture green? And just type in the text chat what you notice happening to the feeling in your left hand. The owner tingling in the pads of the fingers. Nick pulsation. Josh energy increased. So if so if the answer is yes, then it will typically feel like the energy is traveling out of your hand and away from you. So you'll feel the energy coming um, out of your hand. So has anyone been feeling that? Nick, yeah. And um, Lude Miller, yeah. Lude Ma felt moving fingers. Renee, yes. And the, so the biggest key here is um, to make sure your mind is out of the way. So you're just still simply an instrument to the energy flowing through you. Annette, um, still hold her arm out or can we put it down now? Um, we'll keep it up for now because we've, um, we've got another exercise to do now. So now I'll just ask this question. Is this is the Empire State Building in Perth of Western Australia? And feel um, how the energy is moving in your left hand. I'm um, my life moving side to side. So now I'll just move to the next slide, Warren. So um, what do you notice happening in your left hand this time? Renee retracts inwards. Nick, no projection. And that energy went down and out. Y yes. And Lude Malar tingling as well. Yep, so now next slide, Warren. So for no, um it, it should tip it'll typically feel like the energy is traveling inside towards your left hand or nothing at all. So Nick said no projection. Renee felt it retracting inward. Mm, Fiona, circular movement through the hand from little finger. Josh, energy moved towards hollow of palm. Yeah, so just about everyone's um, feeling that as well. Okay, so now we'll use um, an example of these the, the cards. Um, Warren, I think you skipped one past the first one. 
No, not at all, Will. So what happens is this this particular one, um, we're going to get everyone an energy read. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about this one that I threw in. Um, this is the one that basically they read whether they're getting a black or red and then see what they get. Because the next slide, I've got a particular colored slide. So I want them to basically energy read. It makes sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, we'll now go through this. So um, just ask this question, is the card on the next slide black or red? So um, black and just feel which way the energy is moving. Okay, now red. So before we proceed to the next slide, just type which one you got a yes for, which one you got a no for. So I myself um, got got the red. So everyone just type in the text chat which one you got the yes for. Okay, so it looks like everyone's getting red. And everyone is spot on. I am impressed. Well, there you go. Woohoo! Okay, number two. Okay, Nick says still have previous screen. So has uh yeah, okay now. Yep, yeah, so it's um all good now. Okay, so is the card on the following slide black or red? Black. And feel which way the energy goes. Red. And once again, feel which one the energy go where, where the energy goes. Okay, for some reason my Zoom is frozen, everyone, so I don't know what's going on. Hello, William, you there? Yeah, um, can you still hear me at all? Loud and clear, mate. Just okay, get everyone... it's weird. It's my, my Zoom is for some reason frozen. That's okay. So there's a card in the following slide, black or red. So just basically everyone type in whether you got black or red. Yeah, yeah okay. So um, my Zoom is back. It's working again. Yeah, so just type in the text chat um, if you got black or red for yes. So I got yes for black myself. William doesn't know what they are, by the way. I'm the only one who does. Yes. Fiona, Nick, black. Ludmilla, Ludmilla red. Aiden Red, Annette Red. Okay, so this time I'm a bit of a mix. You see, it doesn't surprise me if there's a mix on this one because what happens, who here, honestly, you basically, your preconceived idea assumed it would have to be a different color or maybe it was a trick or the same. Who knows their mind got in the way there? Because I notice when I do this, sometimes my mind gets in a way. Yeah, we see your natural state. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You start, yes, mind starts going, oh, we can't, surely these guys would have made a you know, different one or we would have done the same one to trick us. So your mind starts playing tricks.
Yeah, so for no, um, uh, you'll be, um, as we discussed, you'll be feeling the energy traveling in, in towards the tan, or if not, nothing at all. So, so we, we really can use energy reading for literally anything to gain insider knowledge or like knowledge that um, kind of um, encom encompasses this physical realm or which goes beyond like unscientific explanations. So this is the beauty of it. It's not just like a mythical magic shit that you see in the sci-fi movies. We really can do this in real life. Not just with finance, but with it, with relationships, with um, emotions, with our uh, eating, and with our health, we can literally use it for just about anything. Insight for like family matters or business affairs. So, um, and really, it doesn't take much. All you need to do is be higher than fifty five percent accurate on average, and you will have the edge in a ca casino card game, for example. And well, um, the reality is, as I mean, in any betting scenario, anything like that, as we know, you always will have um a streak where you'll win everything and streaks where you lose everything. So the key factor is the average, and as long as your accuracy is fifty is is fifty five percent or higher, then you'll stay ahead and you'll be and you'll be very profitable without any trouble. And just to kind of mention how that works, for example, I'll just quickly do a slide that I haven't actually done, but I'm just going to quickly jump on now and do this for you. So numbers on this. So let's just say hypothetically that you do, um, let's just kind of go along with this. So let's just say that there was, um, you do 100 energy reads on online casino, okay? And the odds you will get a 1.90 for say, you know, like I'll just use it very simply for heads or tails. I mean, I'll say heads or tails, but it could be a red card or black card. We'll say red card, black card. Okay. Let's say you get that. So let's just say that you place a hundred dollar bets. Okay. This is just a hypothetical situation, but these will show you how the numbers actually work on doing this. Okay. So let's just say that you get 55 bets. Correct. So you'll get 55 times um 100 times 1.90 so your revenue let me just kind of plot this over here hang on sorry this is being a bit naughty okay so i just want to get this here so revenue is going to be equals um 55 times 100 dollars times 1.90 which is of course equals um so basically 5,500 times 1.90, 4,950, okay? Um, you know, let's just get this right. I've done something wrong there. Um, I'm normally very good at maths. Um, 100 times 1.90 times 55 is going to be, sorry, 10,000. No, I just did a bit of a brain fade. So 10,450, then losses equals 45. So total bets is going to be $10,000. That's 100 times 100, okay? 45 times 100, effectively, you've lost, or you've basically lost 45 bets losing or whatever else. So the total amount that you've spent is going to be ten thousand dollars because basically a hundred dollars per bet so what is your net profit that you've made net profit is going to be four hundred and fifty dollars that's just an example okay and obviously that gets better if you're able to for example let's just change the figures again you know so we'll just change the figures let's change Let's just say you're particularly good at this um, and you become an absolute badass on this and you're able to get, you know, the same example, but, you know, $100 bets, you get 60% accuracy. Um, okay. So what does this now mean? 
60 times 100 times 1.90 is going to be um, 11,400. You're still going to lose, have $10,000 go outlay. Your net profit is now 1,400. So notice the exponential jump you've had straight away. So the first example, what was your rate of return? So your rate of return is 10,450 divided by 10,000. Basically, was is like 4.5%, okay? Here, what is your rate of return? It goes up. 14% on 100 bets, okay? Who's starting to see the possibilities? Keep in mind that sports bets, you can bet on even money over and unders doing this. I've got a friend in Poland who's got a job as a computer programmer that does two over and under bets on basketball ice hockey every day and has a 60% accuracy. He told me it's about 68, 60 to 62%. And he consistently makes part-time income. He's one of my guys who I'm um, linked with. Who's, who's seen the possibilities with this? And I can assure you, to give you an idea, the remote viewing community, which you can join to become a paid remote viewer, there are people who do, do this for a living and make an income. You have to prove in their group you can get 72% accuracy. The minimum is 72%. So the world's best ones get 72%. And they have to get tested, I think, over about 100 remote views or 1,000, um, which they go through an intensive program. But there's a group I'm involved. It's called the AIB Special Group run by a guy called Marty. You've got to get 72% to be able to do that. So 60% is very doable. And the only thing that stops you is sabotage. And William, that was, that's about what you were making when you were doing it for quite a while with Mike, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was about that, about 70%. 70. Oh, okay. Better than I thought. Yeah. Um, to show you my recent figures, I'll just quickly get them up so you can see them in real time. I I actually kept some results for a bit of interesting. I did 167 of them in March. I was on 67.1% accuracy. Um, that was the return. Um, the on the simulated one, there was the then there was the real one I was doing as well. Then the April one. I've only just started doing that at the moment. Um, the current results in that one, I'm sitting on about a 70% return in four days so far. Um, just this is not my special little simulated account I'm doing as a spare account on the side, just to kind of test this formula a little bit more. I use my tab, my TAB account for my a lot of my other bets. I use this for my small simulated one that I'm doing right now. I've been practicing it. So this one here on a slightly different simulation, 77.5. Keep in mind, I've been, results one is where is where I've managed to get real money into the market. These are where I couldn't get in or I chose not to get in. Like, for example, these two I chose not to get in because the readings were not, I didn't get favorable prices. I didn't like the prices, so I didn't go in. Um, these three, I like the prices, um, so I went in. Today, I like the price on that one. I didn't like that reading, is which which I'll which I'll show you soon. And this one here, I didn't get in on time, and I missed that one up. But I would have made a good little return on that one. So you can see how it very quickly puts the odd in your favour. So will you, you want to come on and say some final words? I'm just going to quickly go to the toilet. So excuse my honesty, but I need to quickly go. Yes. So um, just a few final words. I mean, as you've seen, it gets even better. And and and, ba and basically, I mean, uh, it's in. It's not. It, you you don't. I'm um, just use it for even cryptos for um for casinos or remote or like sports bets. But as I mentioned before, you can use it also for relationships, for your health. Um, to gain even gaining even gaining insights on like those that you love. Or gaining insights on like world events, um, all kinds of different stuff. So, um, but so I mean, uh, basically, in other words, we can we can increase our accuracy as well, um, even further than just energy reading alone by itself.
and, and ultimately that's where remote viewing comes in. So um so thank you everyone for listening and I trust that you enjoyed the exercise and got a lot out of it. So I'll now hand back over to Warren um for when he comes back. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Who enjoyed that exercise, William? Now I'll I'll say honestly, I don't use it for cards and that. I I, I you can't do everything. I prefer to use it on cryptos and I prefer to use it on sports bets because I like sports. Yeah, so who's like, oh my holy mother of God, I'm ready to I want to learn this and kick ass. Who's just kind of type a Y or raise your hand if you're feeling like that right now? Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? So let's go in about how we can further increase our energy using a relatively scientific approach as well. That's been tested and proven, and which Gerald O'Donnell and many of the world's best endorse this system. Okay. We're one of the world's best kept secrets called remote viewing. So let's ask what that is. Who here has heard of remote viewing? Just, yeah, okay, a few of you, cool. You won't have necessarily heard it in this context, but let me show you how this works. So it's the practice of seeking impressions about a distant or, or unseen target by using extrasensory perception or sensing with the mind. So it's kind of works on the Max Planck philosophy as Gerald O'Donnell puts really well um, of past, present and future. And that all of them are just one energy or one timeline. That's basically how that works, so to speak. So um, past, present or future. So I'm just trying to find something for you at the moment. I want to upload something, but I can't do it at the moment. So what I'll just do is I'll kind of just show you this particular thing um, in my own little um, thing that I've got or whatever else. So Gerald O'Donnell has a thing about the scientific explanations behind remote viewing and the financial zen dealing with fear. So what I'm going to try and do, for example, is just upload these into the chat for people who's interested so you can actually read these later on. So they're pretty pretty damn profound. So what he does, he gives a scientific explanation in very deep depth, just, just for anyone who really kind of wants to, you know, learn more about this and how it works exactly. So I'm just going to try something because i think i can actually upload this into the chat for you because it's kind of a little bit difficult to um i've tried to use other things okay you beauty i can do it so i'm just uploading it into the chat so has everyone got the article in the chat just kind of type a y if you can see it Okay, well, I've uploaded it to the chat. Hopefully, if anyone can see it, let me know. I've just uploaded it into the chat. If not, um, okay, I definitely uploaded it to the chat, so I'm not quite sure why it's not showing. Um, uh, okay, hang on. I can see what happened. It was done, it was incorrectly done to hosts and panelists. I'll try again, everyone. This time you will see it. Um, Okay, take two, has everyone got it? Okay, great, yes. So that's just for those of you who want to do some science about it and see that I'm not spinning shit from one of the world's best experts on the topic. So it's heavy reading, I warn you, but just thought I would give it to any of you. Who is going to probably go away and read that before the class in nine days? Just type uh, me, just type the words me 
if you are actually a geek enough to go and even read one or two of these. Yeah, I strongly recommend if it's interest you, 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 you go and have a read of it. It will just help you understand the mechanics and the logistics because once you see the science behind it, it builds confidence in the methodology. I know it did with me. So um, one of the reasons that it got off originally was that the US government in the 70s, and there's a guy called Ed Dames, and he was a guy whose remote viewing committee I was in, but warned about the pandemic and the lockdowns. Ed was one of the 12 original remote viewers who the government hired secretly and trained up as an experiment to see if they could work out what the Russians were up to and what the their enemies were doing, whether they were planning nuclear missiles, whether they were or bombs. Where basically they were, but they wanted to secretly spy on the Russians, and they had extraordinary success with doing it. So, um, extraordinary success. So, basically, the Stargate program was very much along that kind of line. Talk about aliens. Um, in the dark side of the moon, Ingo Swan talks about how they went to the moon to see what was there and got the sh and they were terrified because they actually saw aliens and all kinds of shit going on there and they hastily got away and they saw some very dark stuff going on on the moon. So they originally were developed in the, in the laboratories funded by the US military and the intelligence. So it was used with great success for, for all kinds of things, for spying, locating Russian ICBM silos, fighting hostages and prisoners of war in Iran and Vietnam. Um, Raymond Grace uses this to a degree as well. Um, the government pay him or use him sometimes to try and find serial killers, rapists, and where people are hiding. So this is something that the governments do actually use and in private. There's various books um, published on that one by the original members of the 12 team, the 12 remote viewers who were involved in there. Um, so... The one that's probably the best known is A Dark Side of the Moon by Ingo Swan, which for whatever reason I forgot to mention that, so I'll put it in there now. But yeah, but you can kind of look into it. I've got like Paul Smith's, for example, as well. I've read David Morehouse. They're all the kind of guys who are involved. The only thing I found with them was a lot of them, they got very paranoid because they started seeing the dark side and things like that. So, so you got to sometimes take the fact that their remote views go a little bit over the top. But all of them were trained by the best of the best. And all 12 of the guys now run their own programs in teaching it. So um, how does it actually work in the real world? So this is what Gerald O'Donnell explained in his thing, how everything in the mace in the universe is stored um, basically as these constant patterns of information um, and works very, very well. So, um, basically, it's what's part of what you might call the collective consciousness. So, basically, it allows you to tap in using your unconscious mind to transfer these patterns of information back to your conscious awareness. Um, O'Donnell talks about how, and I've met Gerald O'Donnell, by the way, I sat with him in Florida and we had a long chat and we're comparing remote viewing notes. And he, it's because it's been proven by scientists that time and space are not linear, but they're quantum. And this is the whole basic of remote view, that you can read the past and the future right now in the present. So everything is a now. So we can just transfer. So we can kind of, so in other words, we can remote view or peep into the future and try to do a squizzle as to what's going on. Like, what's the government up to? What are these, you know, little bastards up to planning now? So it's not basically any deep altered state, so to speak, you, although you do go into a slightly altered state. It's performed in a normal waking state of consciousness where we actually access the unlimited infinite amount of information that's available. So our greatest insights come in altered states when we access the matrix or universal mind through our higher selves. That's what Tesla did, especially. Tesla used to go and rock on a chair until he went into a deep state and he dropped the ball bearing in his hand and then he would come out of it and write down what he saw. And I still do a lot of that myself. So what can you use and what has RB been used for? Psychic spying. What about to? I did this to spy on the government during COVID to work out what the buggers were up to. 
and with, with extraordinary accuracy for those who are in my group at the time. Medical issues. Um, I've used this with medical for myself and for other people. Um, very useful for that. It kind of warns me when something's going on and if I need to address something. And when I remote viewed my foot over the weekend, I got there was an infection I mentioned, so I needed to stop walking and rest it, whereas normally I'd push through it. Um, I've done medical issue readings on myself, and when I knew my stomach, there was a problem with going on with my stomach, and I managed to get that addressed. Um, personal questions. I've used it on relationships, on whether a particular woman I've actually remote viewed into the future one of the worst ones that happened to me was I had a girl I really liked and I remote viewed into the future four months and all I kept hearing was was seeing sadness and seeing myself shaking my head going things aren't always what they seem I can't believe it it's all I kept seeing myself saying and that troubled me but I kept going and it ended up that she completely you know we got to know we got deeper just disappeared ghosted me and end up being a complete catfish. Uh, you know, she tricked me quite beautifully at a vulnerable time in my life. But the remote view saved me from a lot worse what it could have been. So um, you can do it by what Ed James talks about a sanctuary location. You can do it to work out the best place in the world for you to be at, to be the safest. I remember when everyone was fleeing, a lot of my friends were fleeing Australia during COVID and clients. I remote viewed and I kept getting that West Australia was a, was safe. I was shown there would be some mandates and you couldn't get much around that. But by and large, we could live a relatively normal life and to stay put and things would end. And I was spot on. I So you can work out your sanctuary location that may be to stay put right where you are. For some of you, it may be to move. I had a, a friend of mine who remote viewed her location and had told her to get the fuck out of Melbourne, literally. That's what she got to get the fuck out. So she left and two days later, the mayhem began. Um, I've done, I remote viewed that and that showed me I was, we were going to be fine in Perth. So I didn't worry about it. Um, food shortages. I remote viewed that because everyone was terrified at the time. I got a bit nervous, but it was going to hit out and I kept getting, it wouldn't be a problem in WA, but it wasn't going to be a problem. So when I remote viewed it, um, when I did this about when the great reset would happen, you know, back I did it in 2021, I remote viewed it. I just didn't see it happening in the next two or three years. I kept getting, I saw other things going on, but not that. Um, in fact, remote viewing saved me from doing some really dumb stuff because I, I I thought that we might start to see a bit of a crash this year. And when I remote viewed at the start of the year, I got a huge increase. This is going to be a big increase here um, for the next period of time. And then I saw but it will change in the future, but all I knew was a great increase. Um, best way to protect your money. You can, you can remote view what works right for you. Um, you can remote view your model portfolio um, and things like that. I've done that myself and remote viewed what's best, what things to be in, what things to stay out of, things like that. Um, remote viewing the CFDs for NVIDIA. I've been, I've been doing that. Um, remote viewing gold. Cryptocurrencies especially I've been doing. I've been doing. And those who come to my four-hour four workshop next week, you'll hear more about this. And I'll actually show you in real time and show you what I've done. And we'll probably even get you doing a couple on the spot. Who's definitely not going to miss that for the world on the Saturday 13th of April? Who's like, if necessary, they will sell their kids to come and be there. Just just raise your hand. Or temporarily rent them out. A few of you good, you should, because then you can temporarily rent them out and then make do really well. And then you can give them a better future and everything. So... Absolutely. And it will be online. Yes, absolutely. Um, gold, silver, you can do it with. Um, I haven't done lotteries, but there has been people who've won with lotteries. I haven't done that. The reason why I haven't done that is I'm very simple. Lotteries require you to remote view three, four, five, or six outcomes. I don't like that. It's too complicated for me. It's why I don't remote view soccer. I have a friend who does very well remote viewing soccer. I refuse to do it because I, I often lose when I've done soccer. And the reason why is I don't like the sport all that much. It, it kind of, to me, it's like watching grass grow because no one ever scores. The other reason is soccer has three outcomes, win, loss, or draw. And I don't like that. For me, I just like a win or loss. I'm very, I'm a very simple man when it comes to that. So I just like win, loss, outcomes. Or either it will go up or go down. Uh, I don't like 
something in the middle. So, um, and things like that. So lotteries is one thing. I like doing it with cryptos, um, like futures and sports. That's what I like doing it with. So, you know, these are some of the other remote viewing examples that have been done and used. A location, describing past historical events that have happened <laughs> and things like that. Um, so that's another example, um, the Titanic, um, things like that. So basically things like that. So there's really all kinds of different things you can remote viewing for. <laughs> Excuse me, I need water. Um, there's three different types of remote viewing. Coordinate, I don't want to go too much into that today. It's just a very specific type of remote viewing where you set coordinates and targets for nuclear shit and work out that kind of stuff. Um, extended remote viewing, I'll explain, because that's the kind of one that you use if you want to see if there's going to be lockdowns, for example. Or, I mean, you can, you can use it your next form to do it. But extended remote view is where you more... You, you you go in there and see your impressions. They remote they did extended remote viewing to work out life after death, where they just wrote their impressions and senses. I did that to work out vaccine mandates and what was going to happen in our state and in various other places in the world. And I worked out various other things doing this. Extended remote viewing is more what I call a general sense. So, for example, you might choose to remote view the Titanic. That's more extended, like what happened there? So in that one, you get impressions, you might see it. So that was extended remote view. When Ed Dames came up with the pandemic and lockdowns, that was an extended remote view. That was writing impressions, seeing what was coming up. And all the viewers were writing things like locked up and seeing like images of locked up places and army, armies and writing and drawing pictures of like bad things happening. So that's extended. The one that I find is most effective for financial is associative remote viewing. So this is the most effective. So this is the one that most remote viewers who are novices or new, because anyone can do this and learn this relatively quickly. It's a lot easier than the than extended remote viewing. It works very well in this kind of stuff. I must have done over 10,000 of these in my time by now. I've done so many. So you basically do this kind of stuff, but you're writing what's called a target sheet, which I'll show you shortly what I mean. Um, I've actually only got 90 minutes today. So that's why I said today was more just to give you an introduction. So I'm going to cover this a lot more in depth. So excuse me if I'm racing through this. In the advanced workshop, or sorry, in the four-hour workshop I'll be covering, um, we'll go more into this. So basically, extended remote viewing, you can get that. So like we showed you, if you could get 60% accuracy on a 50-50 outcome. So for example, in sports games, um, you let's say that the bookmakers believe it's an equal over and under, which is usually the case in, in a basketball game, but it will go over 220 points. So it might have 1.90, but it will go over the, the 220, and 1.90, it will go under. And the reason it's not two to one, 50-50, is because the obviously the bookmaker takes their 10% commission on top. So basically it's 1.90, 1.90. So if you're getting an accuracy, as we showed in the previous example, 60%, you'll be making 11.4% profit on 100 bets and 114% profit on 1,000 bets. So, and things like that. So um, examples of what we've done, I remote viewed the Super Bowl this year and got the Chiefs and plonked a decent amount on it and had a nice win. Like, in fact, I got my friend to remote view it with me. We both got the Chiefs to win it. And of course, the, the 49ers looked like they had it right and with three seconds to go, the Chiefs won it. My mentor had taught me this, remote view the Super Bowl in 2016. And when the Atlanta Fal Falcons were up like against the Patriots 28-3 and it was pretty much all over and he put a bet down live when the odds were ridiculous. And of course, they came back for the greatest comeback because his remote view said that the, the, Falcon, the Atlanta would win. So these are the kind of stuff that you can actually do. Um, I remote viewed the 2020 election and I 
with my friend Mike, who we did the Super Bowl with. And this was the exact words that Mike, I, I said to Mike. I said, this is there's something bizarre about this election. I said, this does not make any fucking sense. He goes, I'm the same. We had four remote views. Two, we got Trump. Two, we got Biden. Everything was so mixed. I said, it's almost like they're both going to win it. That was what we pretty much said, but it's not possible. And that pretty much we saw what happened. Trump pretty much won it and then got rigged out of it. So that was a really good example. We remote viewed the NRL grand final in rugby in, in that same year. And the same thing happened. I remember saying, this is the strangest game. I said, it's almost like the the, the, the Canberra Raiders should win, but the, but, the, but the Roosters will win and get cheated out of it. And sure enough, they got a horrendous referee decision that cost them, cost them the game. So it can get freaky how blooming good this actually is. Um, you know, there's many who use it successfully. Um, it's nothing more than achieving that auto state of consciousness and groups have been doing this for many, many centuries. So we'll be covering a lot more of that in the group, like Tesla, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go too much, Burning Man, religious groups, um, psychedelics, police force, um, CIA, US military, Russian KGB. Um, you can use that, like I said, as a professional sports battle. Um, Wall Street traders, you can even use it for trading, um, things like that. Um, these are just examples of people who've done it. Um, there's been extremely successful viewers that have a, a high hit rate. I've, I've been through periods of that, but generally, as a general rule, I will honestly tell you, I probably make somewhere around 65 to 70% consistently. I would say I often go higher if I have an emotional period, but when, where I can sometimes drop down to more like 60, 65. But generally, I'm around the 70%, 65 to 70%, I would say where I've got to now. Um, so, but like I said, you don't need to be very high on this. You just got to be very easy. So very comfortable with, with, with failure and mistakes. So a very simple example before we take questions, because like I said, we're going to have to start to wind this up. You bet on three games per day, 21 games per week, per year. I mean, you may not do that, of course. And I take days off because you, you need it. So this, but this is just to give you a hypothetical. Um, even if all you're doing a 60% win rate, um, average payout 1.90 and over and under, and this is pretty much just to show you what my friend in Poland does. He doesn't do $50 though, he does $100 per game. And he gets about 60, he told me he's on about 62% win rate. So that's basically the kind of money that you, you end up making, you know, over all that period of time. Keeping in mind that like, so that's really about $600 a month, $650 a month. Keep in mind $100 um, and then pulling it back a bit, you're making about 1000 a month and just spare a little cash flow and things like that. Um, as you get more confident and you might increase it um, or change your system, things like that. So these are just some very simple numbers, which you can basically do on the pure average. So of course it's completely scalable. I mean, I know people, my mentor puts a minimum of a thousand dollars per game, but normally more like five or 10, the guy who taught me originally. And I know sometimes he's come out and made an insane amount. So the only thing that really stops you is your financial consciousness and your self sabotage. So we do, in the ultimate training that we do, we'll cover it briefly next week, but we ultimately, the self, the sabotage is something we do cover in our mentoring program heavily, because that's the thing that will ultimately muck your results up. Um, so this is a very, very um, good one or whatever else that you might do. Um, so you can do a crypto trading, for example, So this is just an example with cryptos. So you're 50K, you have a look, you remote view it, you utilize technical analysis and you get it all go short, it decreases by 10% and you make a $5,000 profit. So these are just very simple examples. Um, and again, it's completely scalable and things like that. I personally use it in conjunction with other strategies. So I don't just purely remote view it. What I do is I will I will mainly rely on the remote view, but for example, with gold, I will look at the charts and with NVIDIA and stocks. And generally, for example, I won't, 
if the video has got a strong chart and my remote view is mixed, even though I might go short, I, I usually don't. I generally use it more to confirm what, uh, on trades, whether to go in or out, um, and don't generally go against the charts. So my rule with that, it would have to be a very strong hit. Like with gold, when it was ridiculously strong, as soon as I saw what my remote view was confirmed, I was going in hard long. Sports bets, it's similar. I don't generally bet. If I remote view a game, but I'm pretty sure a team's going to win and get the opposite, unless it's a very clear hit, I'll normally just stay out of the game. That's my basic rule. So I do use other factors as well, but it gives you a very unfair advantage. Um, so in that, when we do the remote viewing mentoring or mastermind group, that's about what you can very, very easily get. So I'm going to stop here just because, like I said, there's so much to do. And I'm going to finish off by showing you, before we take questions, um, just some actual practical examples um, of how I've done it. Like, who here watched the videos that I sent out, by the way? Like, I sent videos out showing me doing money in real time. Yeah, so the basic way, and I'll kind of show you how this works here. Um, so associate remote viewing, and like I said, you'll learn more in the nine in the training in nine days time. But you basically, I have one of my staff members has made up something like 755, as you can see, photos. She's increasing to a thousand of, of, of basically things like that. So for example, I've got that there. So I get my staff member to go and have a look at this one. And she goes to me. You know, so then I might take this and go, OK, so I want to do a remote view, let's say, on the AFL today. So I might go here. I might go in here. And hang on a sec, I've just got to fix up something here in my folder. So then let's say that I go in here. So I might put in Melbourne versus Adelaide, which is the AFL today. And then what I've got there is two predetermined photos of this game that basically, and the reason that we do that, which I'll explain more when we do the program, is your subconscious doesn't understand words. It understands images and senses. So Melbourne... Yeah, is Melbourne Adelaide going to win? Your subconscious goes, I don't fucking know, dude, or do this. Just don't be silly. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but the the photos can show you how it does. So, for example, Stars and the Oilers was an ice hockey game. I did two readings on that. My first reading, the Stars, the Dallas Stars, who I had a feeling would win. I had a nice, the, the, the photo that my staff member assigned to Dallas was a nice greeny thing. And this was a bluey, watery thing. Two distinct photos. As soon as I drew that, I thought straight away, that's easy. I did not draw the water because I put green. I thought, I, and then firmish. I thought straight away, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. I've got the green park scenery area. So I instantly placed a bet on the Dallas Stars and I won the game. I did a second reading just in case I had a bad hair day and... That was the Dallas Stars with this lovely little bird flying around and doing whatever it gets up to. And then the other team, the Oilers, was this, you know, tiger or whatever else, um, whatever you call it. And my remote view was very much the bird, you know, had white, turquoise, high in the air. I thought, oh, man, it's, a, it's what you call a direct hit. Direct hits are only about one in ten, I find, where you get them that bloomin' accurate, although lately I've been getting a few, a few more than normal. Um... But yeah, direct hits are a treat from heaven. You know, generally uh, you could just about bet the house on those. I find 95% direct hits get up. Then the other one I looked at was the Orioles and the Royals. And this is one that's interesting. I'll show you why this one got me a bit nervous. So I had this picture of this thing. And then the photo here looked almost exactly the fucking same. We're like, oh, holy mother of God. And the photo, I'm like, who the hell is that one? I thought probably the second one, but I, I would be very nervous about one. So I thought, if anything, the Royals, but I thought this could easily be the Orioles. Second reading was no better. I had this photo here of some shirts on the line. The second one here was I had all this shit here. And I got, oh, holy God, because the color was burgundy, 
but it didn't really look like the fruit. And I thought, now nah, I'm staying out of this game. I stayed out of it, and yeah, I would have lost money on that one. Um, it kind of went weird. Finally, this one here was one of the ones that got away, which is a bit annoying. I remote viewed the Suns to cover a six point spread, which means they win by seven or more. Uh, beautiful picture there. <coughs> a lovely picture here. A bit similar, but I remember as soon as I looked at the photo, I thought, now nah, I, got, I got the first photo. Just from my experience, it was pretty obviously the first photo. Just my little own subconscious cues I learned to give to me. Didn't get in on time. The Suns absolutely metered their asses on a platter. So I've run out of time to show you anything else. But let's just kind of, any questions for Miss? Or who's really like orgasmically excited and wants to come along to the event? The nine day event we're going to run. And it, do you have to get into a meditative state before doing energy reading? Originally, yes, we will teach you that. <laughs> Strongly encourage in the beginning. As you get more experience now, I've trained myself to just naturally flow into it as I do it. It takes me 10 seconds to get into it now. But yes. Who here would like the link to register for the nine day event? It's free, no obligation. And it means you get on the list and you also get the um, replay as well. But who, just type a Y if you would like to. Yep, okay. Here's the link here in the chat. I'll be getting my team anyway. I'm just putting a note for my team. Okay. So, yes, it's a good question, Annette. Um, you basically, we do do cool-down training, which, you know, in remote viewing, but you can train yourself to where now I just literally do them in seconds. So if, to give an example of the other day of what I did, I'll just see if I can find it for you, an example of where the benefits of being able to do quick ones can really help. Um, um, I did a quick reading actually um, on the spot with the Blues and the Oilers to see um, whether or not I'm just trying to find it actually there's one I want to show you because generally a lot of my views you don't have times to do you know the quick cool downs necessarily or whatever but um some of my bets I've kind of made in the moment when I've jumped in. Um, for example, the other day when I when I got onto a bet, um, second of April. Yes, this one here. I quickly jumped in early on, and I needed a ten second cool down because the game was literally going, it was about to start get started, and I needed to get in quickly. I got a, a very clear hit that um, on this butterfly, but you can see this was done literally with a 10 second cool down and took me less than a minute to do this. And I was, and I'm like, now I drew the butterfly. I quickly jumped in on that bet and had a nice little win. Okay, any other questions? And yes, like I said, we'll be running that masterclass, which we're going to be running on the Saturday the 13th. Who here is definitely going to be attending that, come what may, and very excited about that? It's like, yeah, got to use this. It's going to be on, it'll be, I'm going to email everyone who's here today, but it's going to be 8.30 Perth time, which now I think daylight saving will change next, next Sunday, this uh, coming up, so it'll be 10 30 a.m. on the east time and go for about four four and a half hours want to make sure give you some decent content and like i said at the end we'll be offering you know a program for those who are interested to you know apply to join the mentoring program and that's up making a decent income out of this okay everyone well thank you um those of you who can't make it um that's all good we're going to be um you can always watch the replay 
Would people be interested in the replay who genuinely can't be there? I mean, some of the exercises you won't be able to participate in, obviously, but you'll be able to, you know. I'll give you the replay as well so you can watch it later on. Awesome. Andrew's already in. Love it, Andrew. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you. We're now running our Alchemy of Wealth class for those of you there. So I will see you all there. Bye for now.